Hello, hello, and welcome to Sorcery Mod. This is going to be a quick guide on how to manually install Sorcery Mod. All right, this is going to be the newest version. The first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go to your Steam library here. Go to your games. You want to make sure you have the most up-to-date version. If you go over to the properties, make sure you keep it updated. And you also want to verify the integrity of the game file. So you would click this button and let that load. And it will take you know anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes to, to verify, making sure that you have a clean save um, of the base game. That's step one. All right, let's move on to step number two. All right, so after step number one, now you want to go to step number two. You're going to find your Steam file wherever it is on your hard drive. Mine happens to be on my D drive. So I'm going to go to Steam. I'm going to go to Steam Apps, I'm going to find the common, and 7 Days to Die. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click Copy. Okay. I'm going to go back to my D drive, because this is where I want to install it. And I'm going to create a, um, I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call this one Sorcery. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up, and then I'm going to paste the um, 7 Days to Die base game here. All right, so we'll come back as soon as this done is loading. Soon as this is done loading. All right, now that it has finished copying, we're going to open it up, and we're going to create a new folder within here, and we're going to call it mods. Okay, that is done. Next, we're going to go to Discord, and we're going to join the Sorcery Discord, and we're going to go to the Download Content area and the Download Public, and uh, we're going to scroll up. And we're going to click right here. We're going to download the latest version. All right, so it's going to download up here. Now that it's done, we're going to hit open file. All right, so once this is downloaded, I'm going to open up Sorcery Mastery or Sorcery Master. I'm going to open up the mods. And I'm just going to highlight all of this. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to the D drive. I'm going to go back to the file that I created here, open up the mods. And I'm just going to paste that all right here. All right. And now that that is done, to play the game, I'm just going to launch it straight from the executable here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button. And there you go. That is how you can manually install the sorcery mod for seven days to die.